I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're going to put berries under the bus? I don't know if that's an equal high status kind of approach. All right, but you know what? And, and it's not so much that. It's allowing them to undo themselves. All right? Think about this. And I, and I wasn't going to get into it in this level of detail right now, but I will because it's an appropriate time. If you've got a work group, let's suppose that you've got a group of folks working together, maybe five or six people, and one of them is a bear, right? Everybody else in the group learns about a model like the five element open hand model that we're talking about today. And as individuals, they talk to each other about it and they go, you know what? This is really a better way to go at communicating with each other. Let's do this. And as a group, they decide this is what we're going to do. Except for Barry. And you're never going to get Barry to jump on that bandwagon voluntarily. It's not going to happen. You, that individual will mock it. He'll make fun of it. He'll belittle it. He'll try to undermine it. He'll do anything. But he will not go along with it voluntarily. But you know what? If everybody else does in that group, if the other five people do, guess what happens pretty quick? It becomes very obvious where the problem is, doesn't it? Barry becomes a sore thumb, and Barrys hate that. They absolutely hate it. They like to be under the radar. They don't like to stand out as problem children. So a Barry will not tolerate that. But it gives Barry only two choices, doesn't it? He can either get with the program, even if he thinks it's dumb, he can go along with it, or what? He can go away, retire, been on another job. And you know what's unfortunate? We hate to we hate to lose anybody because everybody's valuable, right? But with a Barry, whichever of those two he decides to do, the status of that work group is going to go up. Isn't it? That's the best you can hope for when you're dealing with a Barry. And if Barry doesn't like it, and if Barry gets in your face about it, or Barry makes fun of it, or Barry does any of the Barry-esque things that he does, why do you care? Why do you care? Are you doing it so that Barry will like you? No. You're doing this because it's the right thing to do. Barry is Barry. That's not on you. That's on Barry. You're doing what you know is the right thing to do. But it isn't because the Barry's are like a virus. And if you're exactly right, yes, it does. But if and, and let's take that analogy, all right? If Barry is the virus, we must become the antibodies, all right? If uh, if if Sherry has in her life a Barry, somebody else in the organization knows about it, and it's probably the people that she works with. So then they become the anti remember, remember I said we were resources to each other? Then what you need to do is become a positive counteracting force to that. And you need to make sure that periodically you stop by and see Sherry and say, you hang in there. He's not going to be here forever. I got you. Okay, you're doing the right thing. Keep up the good work. Okay? We reinforce each other. We reinforce each other. We deal with bearings the right way. We encourage each other. When I see Sherry dealing with somebody, especially a Barry, on an equal high status level, I make sure I let her know, you know what? That was tough. But you did it. You're the best in the world. What you do. Okay? You know, if that Barry is, is, is one that is able to control the, the supervisor and control a union, and, you know, it has all these connections. Then Barry becomes a giant black cloud. And no one wants to touch them. They're scary. You don't have to. You, <laughs> Barry's are scary. They intend to be scary. <coughs> but you know what? They can't control me unless I let them. Okay. I decide my environment. I decide whether I have a safe communicating environment. If Barry wants to treat me on a low status level, I don't have to come down to his level. I don't have to. I get to choose. I do. The problem is. Sometimes we get our well, we get our feelings hurt. We get embarrassed in front of other people, and what happens then is the focus gets on this leg of the triangle, doesn't it? And we lose sight of the objective. We have to teach ourselves 
that no matter how much heat there is here, we got to stay focused out here because that's what we do. That's who we It is easier said than done, Sherry. I am not pretending like this is easy. I am not. Okay? I am not. But let me ask you this question. Is it worth the effort? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It absolutely is. Okay? I promise you. And you know. But it is hard. And it's especially hard when somebody's in your face like that. But if you use each other, if you if you are resources to each other, yeah. But if you're resources to each other, then Vicky can go to Tomiko and say, Tomiko, remind me why I'm being high, equal high status with Barry. Help me remember. Okay? If we're reinforcing each other, okay, if we're supporting each other, then the berries become even more the odd man. Even more. We have to be creative. There was an old poem my mom used to tell us when we were kids. He drew a circle that shut me out. Heretic, rebel, a thing to flout. But love and I had the wit to win. We drew a circle that took him in. Those are the choices we make in our lives. Nobody can create a bad environment for you unless you let them. Okay? We're going to take another short break. We're going to come back. We're going to look at scenario number three, and then we're going to go into the home stretch. In the meantime, let's hear it from teams one and two. At what team three has put together for what we call territory. So team three, who's going to be our DUE pharmacist? <laughs> All right, Audrey, um, couple of questions. <laughs> Are we going to meet anybody else in the course of this? Did you want to confer? Nah. Because I missed the beginning of the direction Oh wait a minute. So, so the person playing the role has no clue what's going on. She, she has most of oh, this is going to go well. She knows. Okay. I have most of it. I, okay. I just don't have it. This, this second part here. All right. So do we do we need to set up any physical arrangements? No, because we're going to move. You're going to move, or you're going to move. I'm going to fix your collar because we want you to be. We want you to be a square away. All right, now remember that just like in the just like in the real case, the pharmacist is going to insist on a reprimand from the physician and a policy prohibiting physicians from coming into the pharmacy. The physician is going to insist on having Tom's performance review adjusted to reflect his insubordination and having him demoted to the less critical of the two pharmacies because he's so confrontational. So, that's right. Now then, with that in mind, teams one and two, look for the five elements in the model, look for equal high status assignments, Think about the two questions that we're going to ask at the conclusion of the scenario to measure success. And with those things in our minds, let's take a look at scenario three, which we call character. 